Welcome to Secret Story Recap. Today I am going to explain an adventure movie called Perfume. Watch out and enjoy. At the beginning of the movie we see a dangerous prisoner named Jin, who was a prisoner in a very big prison. And then his guard comes there and takes him out in front of the public. Everyone started cursing when they saw Jin because everyone hated him. Jin will be executed two days later whenever the district says. Everyone is very happy to hear it. And from here the story of this movie goes to flashback where a woman is seen selling fish at a fish market. She gives birth to a baby. She thinks her baby is not alive, so she leaves him there, but after a while the baby starts crying. Everyone looks at the baby, and everyone starts saying slang to the one who gave birth to the baby. The woman was arrested because everyone thought she had deliberately left the baby there. She was then sentenced to death. The child the woman gave birth to, who is currently being hanged, means Jin. Jin was sent to an orphanage because he had no one on earth, but his condition was not good. The kids who were there were trying to kill Jean, because they thought that if Jin came here, he would take the place of one of them. Then the owner of that ashram comes there and punishes all of them. Gradually time passes, Jin becomes five years old. But five years later, he still hasn't said a word. In fact, he can't say, but he has a superhuman ability to smell a lot. He detects anything by smell. Thus slowly he spends his time in the orphanage. Now he is thirteen years old, thirteen years later the owner of the orphanage sold Jin to a man who sold animal skins. After the sale, some robbers attacked him, and took all his money. In fact, there was something special about Jean, the man who took him away from himself, the man who died. As at first his mother died, and now the woman who had an orphanage. Then the man who bought Jin took him to the market. He does a lot of work with Jin. First he takes Jin to a market in Paris where Jin finds a very nice perfume, and he follows the perfume and arrives outside a showroom. This showroom was a perfumed showroom. Everyone there was looking and tests the perfumes. Jin likes this perfume very much. Then Jin gets another perfume. When he follows the perfume, he sees it coming from a fruit-selling girl. Jin goes to her. The girl thinks Jin is a beggar, so he gives her two fruits, but Jin grabbed her hand and tried to smell her. As a result, the girl got scared and ran away but Jin had a smell-finding superhuman ability. That's why he sniffed and reached out to the girl. When the girl saw him, she started screaming in fear. Then Jin pressed his mouth. If he keeps shouting, everyone will come here and hit him hard. After a while, when Jin removed his hand from the girl's mouth, he saw that she was dead. Then he shows the girl, he sees that there is no smell coming from her. There were many people in Paris who made perfumes. One of them was Baldini, a very famous rich man. Now, no one goes to a perfume shop. Then Baldini's assistant brings a bottle of perfume, which he has just made. But Baldini doesn't want to try that perfume, and he tries to make another perfume herself. But then he tries his assistant's perfume, and tries to find out what he has mixed in that perfume. But even after trying many times, I can't find it. Jin came to her house at night to deliver food. As soon as Jin enters her home, he begins to smell all the perfume he has. Jin also smells perfume from Baldini's hands. Then he says that the perfume that Baldini has applied is not good, because he used some superfluous things there. Upon hearing this, Baldini thinks that there is something special about Jin, so he asks him about the perfume formula to take his test. But Jin couldn't answer him because he didn't know how to read. He did not know what does the formula mean, but he will make the same perfume for him as Baldini, and he will make her the same perfume. When he tries on that perfume, he realizes there must be something special about this boy. Then Jin says I can make a better perfume than this. Then when he makes that perfume, Baldini doesn't try this perfume, he chases him away. When Baldini tests the perfume after he leaves, he thinks that he has gone to heaven. The next day Baldini buys Jin from the man. Then, while Baldini was taking Jin away, the previous man died. Baldini then teaches Jin how to make perfume. At the same time, he also told Jin that there are twelve, thirteen kinds of perfumes in this world. But no one could make perfume number thirteen, and if anyone could make that number thirteen perfume, then this perfume would be the best perfume in the world. On hearing this, Jin told Baldini that he would make the thirteenth perfume. Jin then began making perfumes for Baldini, and gradually the perfume became famous throughout the city. And all the people in town buy perfume only from his shop. Baldini then teaches Jin all the other methods of making perfume. But Jin was not happy with his method, because they still lacked something in this method. 
for which he could not make perfume number 13. Because of this, Baldini was very worried about getting sick. Because if he dies, his perfume work will stop again. Then, one day Baldini tells Jin that if he wants to make perfume number 13, he has to go grass, which was in France. But before leaving, Baldini learns 100 different methods from Jin, and instead he gives her some money to spend. Jean then left for Grass City to make perfume number 13. After he left, Baldini's house suddenly collapsed, and he died. Meanwhile, Jean Grasso arrives, and there he works for a woman. There he does not learn how to extract fragrance from animal fats. Then Jin wanted to use this method on humans. So he kidnaps a girl and tries to get the perfume out of her body, but he fails. He then kills a prostitute and applies another method to her, this time succeeding in extracting the Jin perfume. Because now he has learned well how to extract fragrance from people. Jean then takes out the perfume from the different girls and decides to make perfume from it. That's why he goes to a party, and from there he kidnapped the twin sisters. Then we are shown that Jean has made two different scented perfumes. From that we know that Jin has killed those twin sisters. Jean then kidnaps and kills many girls in the city, making twelve perfumes. The disappearance of the girls of the city caused a commotion in the whole city. And everyone started locking up outside their house. The whole city is under curfew and girls are not allowed to leave their homes. There we see a famous responsible person named Anthony. Then an atmosphere of fear was created in the whole city. And everyone goes to the church to ask the father for help. Just then a man came running up and said already found that guilty. But Antony doesn't believe it, because the man who kidnapped so many girls can't be caught so quickly. Now Antony is worried about his daughter Laura, because she was the most beautiful in town, and maybe Jean's next target was Laura. So Anthony Grasso decided to leave and left. As Laura was leaving town, Jean smelled her, and he continues to follow Laura. Jean had that prostitute's dog, which sniffed the smell of his mistress and took out his clothes buried in the ground, which a man there sees. The man called the police and, after an investigation, found the clothes and hair of all the girls whose jeans had been killed. Laura and Antony, on the other side, stay at the hotel. And after Antony sleeping at night, Jean kills Laura. Now another perfume is made for Jean, and they combine those perfumes to make the thirteenth perfume. But then a police came there, and they arrest Jin, and from here the story of the movie comes back to the present. Jin is sentenced to death, and everyone leaves to see him. Jean apply the perfume she made on her body. After smelling it, the man who was punishing him said Jin was innocent. He puts the perfume on a handkerchief and sways it in the air, and as a result everyone gets the scent of that perfume. Then everyone started loving each other. Then Jean thinks he's wrong, and in his mind comes the girl he killed for the first time. Jean thinks that if he hadn't killed the girl that day, he might have stayed with her and could love him. With that sadness he leaves, and arrives at the fish market, where he was born. Then she pour her perfume bottle on herself. Those who were sitting next to him got the scent, and jumped on Jin and killing him. And this is where the story of the movie ends. Comment on how the movie looked like, which is your favorite movie. Let us know in the comment. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting movies like this.